Hi there, it's the Cloud Apps Tutor, and today I want to show you quickly how to embed an anchor clip directly into your WordPress blog. So I run a podcast called Teachers on Fire, and you can see it here. I just published an episode, episode 63, with this guest, and I've added a clip, an anchor clip, at the top of the blog post. So visitors can come and play that immediately. Oh, there's my loud voice. <laughs> Visitors can come and listen to that immediately while they are reading the post, which is kind of nice. So how do you do that? You go to your podcast and you visit your particular episode. And up here you have a lovely embed code. So just click that and you see it says, as soon as you click it, it says copied to clipboard. So then you go to your blog post over in WordPress and you hit edit and then you go to as my page loads you go over to HTML no I don't want to restore so you go over to HTML and you drop the code you hit control V paste your code right into the top section or actually anywhere in your page where you want your clip to appear I like it to be at the top so that it gets people's attention right away. And then just before we save and publish this, there's a couple of things. There are a couple of things that we can do. So right here, this is code that I customized. So I think by default, it says something like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to paste it in again so that you can see. So by default, it says height 720 width I'm getting my that's my canva image okay let me get this clear so height 102 pixels and width 400 pixels so that's the default width I like to set that to hundred percent because what that does is it just fills up the column so even though it doesn't display that way yet here in your preview mode it's going to fill the entire width of the page and you know what some people aesthetically might not like that look but I, I think it's a good fit so let's go ahead and update the page and here's how it looks now one thing I haven't played with at all is the height of this clip it, it's a little bit shall we say chubbier than most of the similar clips that I see on other podcast pages and so if I went uh, if I went back and did one more quick edit Let's just play with the height and see what happens there. Now, I don't want to use percentage because the same way I did for the width because if I do that, it's going to it's going to read that as percentage of the whole page. So, it's by default it's 102 pixels. What if I just say let's go 75 pixels? And I actually haven't played with this at all. What would that look like? Oh, interesting. Okay. I want to see actually what happened. Oh, do you see that? It's cutting off my logo. It doesn't know what to do about that. So I probably will not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My poor logo. I probably will not keep that. I definitely will not keep that. So I'm going to go back and restore the original height, which is 102 pixels. And again, I don't think percentage would work, but you can always play with that. So let's go back and say 102 pixels. And again, on the visual, we can see what that will look like. Bit of a preview. And then when we hit update, it will fill up the whole width of that column. And there's the final look. So episode 63 is playable. By the way, before I end this, this clip, I should also show you what I've got going on here. So I added another clip in the sidebar, and this one always displays the most recent episode. And I did that because I have a number of other pages around the website, and I just thought, I don't know, it's possible someone may be on another page and want to sort of play the clip while they are surfing around, if that makes sense. Welcome to the Teachers on Fire I don't know. Podcast. I don't know if anyone uses that clip or not, but... I'm learning as I go. So there you have it. That is how I embed anchor clips directly into a WordPress page. Very easy. Uh, let, leave a comment below 
if you have any questions. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.